morning um so quick story time i remember finishing youth service and coming back to abuja where my parents lived um and not having a clue of what to do um i had no savings and i just looked forward to the state allowance that delta state you know was going to pay me after working you know in their state school for you know the amount of months i worked there and i think the money total to 50 something thousand naira at the time and as someone who is tall has beautiful legs beautiful face i wanted to participate in a pageant and so you know i tried out for miss nigeria and it didn't work out and then i tried out for miss tourism nigeria and i was able to you know get a placement as one of the 36 girls now after the whole pageant thing you know my family supported i went to lagos i got a crown if i can find the picture i'm going to put it here so i got a crown um and it was really good times you know i came back to abuja broke <laughs> flat ass broke i had no money to do anything i in fact i had no there was no direction for me i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life honestly um, my dad sat me down and asked me oh, what do you want to do and i told him that i would you know want to get into advertising because i wanted i just believed advertising was a career for me i wanted something in an office and eight to five or nine to five or whatever you know and then he made some calls and then i started work in a um advert firm before that i dabbled a little bit into teaching nursery school so i remember working there for a couple of months and not getting paid i was always taking transport for my dad and life was just i had no direction you know and so an election came i think that was the election that usher did buari and Mohamed buari did his first tenure and then that election came and i did some election gigs and um yeah after election back to square one no job nothing to do and so um this opportunity to teach came up and i didn't want to go and my dad just told me are you not going to go for this interview it's today da 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 so i went to submit my cv the man wanted to see me immediately and in fact the man gave me the job on the spot <laughs> and that was how my teaching career started and for six years i worked at that place i garnered skills you know i discovered that teaching is definitely my passion um okay this that yes teaching is definitely my my passion because i just fell in love with everything the reading the trying to impart knowledge on these young adults because we taught young adults like teenagers know those who were fresh out of secondary school and i just discovered that i loved teaching so much but the thing is in nigeria teachers aren't paid really well and so uh yeah i was broke <laughs> for five to six years working there my salary in fact my bank account never grew past a certain extent in fact i'm comfortable to say here my bank account never grew past hundred thousand naira and i remember the guy i was dating at that time when he asked me a question he asked me do you have any savings and i was like no i don't have any savings i mean i was just trying to um i was trying to uh just survive it was hand to mouth that was the situation definitely it was definitely hand to um, mouth you know i was just trying to survive but i thought a lot of things in that school i prepared you know people who didn't even know how to speak the language i taught them english language at basic level i taught literature i taught um a level literature i taught o level 
O-level literature. Um, also, yeah, I thought I thought a couple of like SATs, TOEFL, IELTS. I thought a lot, and I was getting I think forty thousand naira. At the point, the man said no, that he wanted us to do part time, right? Like he didn't want us to be on a monthly payroll because he felt he couldn't pay salary, and so I had to go part time, right? And so yeah, that happened. Now, because the money didn't come in frequently, I had to do other jobs, right? I started a business, IELTS, um, not IELTS, but my beggar, pardon. And my essentials where I sold coconut oil, I sold perfume oils. I was sort of like an intermediary between someone who sold these products and customers because I was advertising his products on my own page, you know. So yeah, I did that for a while. Now, what is the essence of telling you all these stories? Is to tell you that you should be steadfast in whatever you're doing. Because where I am now, I wouldn't be where I am now if I didn't go through six years of not being able to, you know, buy certain things for myself and take care of myself. Yeah, I'm back. And in a different location. I'm in my office with my laptop and uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, just be steadfast in whatever you're doing, you know. One thing about me is people cannot really move me with money. Yeah. You know, when you're all, you know, starry-eyed, when you encounter, like, people who have money, people who live in affluence or what you see on social media, I don't really get swayed by it because... As someone who did ushering jobs, I found myself, you know, amongst, you know, people of affluence. Um, I have met some people who have, like, really good money. I've entered some really, really exclusive spaces and I, I don't get moved. I don't get moved at all um, because I know who I am um, and I'm confident in my capacity and my capability. So if you're watching this, uh, I'll just advise you to, you know, focus on your pace, right? And I've said this in countless videos I've posted on YouTube. It is that you should always ensure that you are growing one way or the other. Like, if I check where I was January 2022 and where I am now in January 2023, I can see massive growth. Do not, do not just focus on one thing. Always try to grow. That is just it, right? Um, and then, like I said, remain steadfast. Push yourself. Motivate yourself. You've got you. You've got you. Ensure that you give yourself the best. Put yourself first. You can't give what you do not have you know experience life don't put yourself in danger in the name of you want to experience life but experience life to full capacity you can never get the day back like today i think of all the things i want to do i mean as much as i procrastinate i won't lie i'm not perfect but i make sure that i get certain things done no matter come on me if i feel like i need to rest i rest and i tell myself that okay that day was for resting and the body needs to rest you understand so always give yourself the best always push yourself always motivate yourself to do good to do better than where you are um, at the moment you also need to realize that life is a journey and this is something i remind myself often life is a journey enjoy the ride sometimes the road will be bumpy sometimes the road will be smooth Sometimes you have money, sometimes you will not. Make sure that you enjoy the ride. Remember that no condition is permanent and your life can change just like that. Don't give up, don't give up. Um, and so yeah, I hope this video inspires you, motivates you um, to be the best you can be. Expect more story times from me. See you. And um, yeah, till I see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>